Welcome to Morning Prayer at St. George's Anglican Church, Paris, on Tuesday the 12th of January. We celebrate Elred of Hexham, Abbot of Rival. Today's readings are taken from Psalm 9 and 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 18 to the end. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, King of the nations, to you be praise and glory forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world, as the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. O oh, be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. The Word of God, Psalm 9 You, Lord, have never failed those who seek you. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell all your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will make music in your name, O Most High. When my enemies are driven back, they stumble and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on your throne, giving righteous judgment. You, Lord, have never failed those who seek you. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name for ever and ever. The enemy was utterly laid waste. You uprooted their cities. Their very memory perished. But the Lord shall endure forever. He has made fast his throne for judgment. For he shall rule the world with righteousness and govern the peoples with equity. Then will the Lord be a refuge for the oppressed a refuge in the time of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have never failed those who seek you. You, Lord, have never failed those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare among the peoples the things he has done. The avenger of blood has remembered them. He did not forget the cry of the oppressed. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider the trouble I suffer from those who hate me, that you lift me up from the gates of death. That I may tell all your praises in the gates of the city of Zion and rejoice in your salvation. The nations shall sink into the pit of their making, and in the snare which they set will their own foot be taken. 
The Lord makes himself known by his acts of justice. The wicked are snared in the works of their own hands. You, Lord, have never failed those who seek you. They shall return to the land of darkness, all the nations that forget God. For, for the needy shall not always be forgotten, and the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, and let not mortals have the upper hand. Let the nations be judged before your face. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but mortal. You, Lord, have never failed those who seek you. Remember, Lord, all who cry to you from death's dark gates. Do not forget those whom the world forgets, but raise your faithful ones to Zion's gate with your all-concurring Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Though night still covers the earth, and darkness the peoples, above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. The nations will come to your light, and kings to your dawning brightness. Your gates will lie open continually, shut neither by day nor by night. The sound of violence shall be heard no longer in your land, or ruin and devastation within your borders. You will call your walls salvation, and your gates praise. No more will the sun give you daylight, nor moonlight shine upon you. But the Lord will be your everlasting light, your God will be your splendor. For you shall be called the city of God, the dwelling of the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. A reading from 1 Corinthians For the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to those of us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thought. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world did not know God through wisdom, God decided through the foolishness of our proclamation to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks desire wisdom. But we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are the called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is the wiser than human wisdom and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. Consider your own call, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards, but not many were powerful, not many were of noble birth. But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, things that are not, to reduce to nothing things that are, so that no one might boast in the presence of God. 
He is the source of your life in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, in order that, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole world tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. They who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of all our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to give our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. They who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. We offer intercessions for the day and its tasks, for the world and its needs, and for the church and her life. We pray for the unity of the church. We pray for the peace of the world. We pray for the healing of the sick. We pray for the revelation of Christ to those from whom his glory is hidden. And we pray for all who travel. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, who endowed Elred the Abbot with the Christian gift of friendship, and the wisdom to lead others in the way of holiness. Grant to your people that same spirit of mutual affection, so that, in loving one another, we may know the love of Christ and rejoice in the eternal possession of your supreme goodness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.